Hi angels and welcome to this vlog. Spring is almost coming. I can already smell the cherry blossoms and I'm just so, so excited. My question is, will you be traveling to South Korea or probably any other country this spring, probably Japan or parts of Europe? If you are, this video will undoubtedly help you save money on your travel. So please watch it till the end. Traveling is so fun and, well, for me, and as we all know, to make it more convenient to go around, we need to have internet access because we need to navigate, you know, where to go, or probably sometimes when we're riding the subway, we're still searching for places to go. And what else do we need internet access for? To look for Matib. Matib is like a place where to eat, where the review says that it's really good. Or where else do we need to use the internet for? To connect to people, right? To tell our loved ones that we're safe or to probably connect with other people as well. So we definitely need internet access whenever we travel. So the thing I hate about is to get a physical SIM card and lining up at the airport when I get in the destination country. Why? Because sometimes it's even expensive or sometimes it doesn't work quite well. Like in my experience when I went to Europe, I remember I got a physical SIM card. The line was not that long but it didn't work i don't know why but it was just so frustrating because i couldn't return it anymore i went out of the airport and i don't know it just didn't work so what a waste of money right so here is a travel hack that will help you save money while traveling anywhere in the world you must download GitSky. what is it it's an easing provider that allows you to digitally connect to the internet globally without using a physical SIM card. GigSky has great deals of plans for every country. So along with being quite affordable, it also helps you to save the trouble of lining up at the airport and getting that physical SIM card. It's so easy and convenient to use, so you just need to download the app, you select the country you're traveling to, and then you choose the data that works for you. So one of my favorite from GigSky that none other easing provider has is that they provide free internet connection in every country. Not just one or two, but for all country with 100 megabytes data plan to try out without submitting your credit card information. I know that this is not enough especially for those who use a lot of like internet but at least this is just to try it out and so you don't need to submit your credit card information so you're not really obliged to like purchase anything from them so that's what i really really love and they are actually giving you the privilege to try out the eSIM first to try out how fast or how effective the internet can be while you travel and then when you used everything so that's the time you can decide whether you wanted more and so they have affordable roaming data to choose from so for example you're traveling again here in south korea so the lowest that they have is only for 4.99 us dollars for one gigabyte to be used for a total of seven days so for me when i went to the philippines two months ago so because i am originally from the philippines so this one gigabyte was actually enough for me since i only just stayed home well half of the day and then just half of the day i went out and since we're bringing car i don't really need to navigate i already know where to go so i don't really need to use a lot of internet so that one gigabyte is already enough for me but if you're the type of person who uses a lot of internet, I suggest that you can purchase the three gigabytes, which is only 10.39 US dollars to use within 15 days. So what is $10 to use for 15 days, right? It's even way, way lower than purchasing your subscription in Netflix or for Prime Amazon. So it's really worth it so the question now is 
how to install the eSIM. Is it difficult? Is it complicated? I'm telling you, it's not. It's actually very simple. The step seems a little bit long, but it's actually easier done than being said. So here it is. Go to the App Store and download the GigSky app. Next, select Allow to let the GigSky app use your location services. Select Allow to let the GigSky app send notifications. And this is required to send you information when your data plan is running low. So they even give you that notification. So now we are ready to use the app to purchase a cellular plan. So now you need to open the app. You search for the country. So once again, let's say you're going here in South Korea, and then you select a data plan from the ones displayed. So you choose which one you prefer. So you create an account. Let's say you are a new user. So let's just choose the free 10 megabytes. And again, as I've mentioned a while ago, you don't need to input any of your credit card details, which is the best thing about GigSky. And then click Install eSIM. Next, click Continue. And then allow Activate. So now it says Activating. And then this process will take about a few minutes. So please make sure you have a stable internet connection. And then now it should say mobile plan setup complete and then click done. So now you choose a label and I'll just name it GigSky South Korea. So for cellular data, select the eSIM of your domestic service provider if you're still at home before traveling or your new GigSky eSIM if you're already at your destination and want to start using GigSky data. So you keep allow cellular data switching turned off so that you don't accidentally start using your domestic service provider's data when traveling, incurring roaming charges. And make sure to have internet access everywhere you travel and have fun traveling and not to worry or not to have any kind of stress whenever, wherever we travel. So thank you very much for watching this vlog and I'll hope to see you again on my next one. Bye!